all this extra skin that Baxter has, it all plays into the factor of him tracking. We first met K-9 Baxter and Albany County Fire Coordinator Jerry Paris in July 2019 when they successfully tracked down a vulnerable adult in Cohoes on a windy, rainy day. All the odds were against him, but K-9 Baxter found her. And that was just one of dozens of people he saved. Jerry says even when he didn't want to believe Baxter's instincts, he would regret it eventually. A bloodhound's nose is 300 million scent receptacles in their nose. Almost 100 million more scent receptacles than a German Shepherd. Every time I have not been faithful to the trust, I was wrong as the handler. Baxter was right. Jerry and Baxter were inseparable for years. Though they belonged to the Albany County Sheriff's Department, they assisted towns and cities all over the capital region. When departments were hitting a dead end, they'd call and ask for Baxter. And he kept a smile on everyone's face at the sheriff's office, too. This June, Baxter changed. Just like you would notice if a family member or friend was acting strangely or moving a bit more slowly than usual, Jerry saw Baxter start to struggle. He walked up on the hill in the back of my house and laid in the trees. And I started getting all choked up. I was like, he wants to die. Monday morning, Jerry had to carry Baxter to the car to get him to the vet. They found a huge mass in his chest, in his abdomen was pushing on his colon. Baxter had cancer. Certain types affect bloodhounds more than other breeds. After four years together, a time that Jerry describes as too short, he made the decision not to let his friend suffer any longer. He told me, just put his head on my lap. And I said to Dr. Carmichael, just put him down. I miss him so bad. And that was K-9 Baxter's end of watch, August 16th, 2021. The next day, the sheriff's office offered Jerry K-9 Casey, but it was too soon. Even now, more than three months later, Jerry still finds clumps of Baxter's hair in the car. There are reminders of him all over the house. His heart remains broken for his buddy. Filling that void with a new work partner wasn't the answer. So Jerry thought smaller. What are you guys doing, sleeping? Come on, time to get up. Right now, Hank and Bunker can fit in the palms of my hands, but this is the next generation of working canine bloodhounds. Jerry says he's going to train them both up when they get older. One may turn out stronger in the field, the other potentially a therapy dog. Still be able to track, but maybe his personality is more like a little love dog. A worker and a love bug, both traits of Jerry's old friend, but they don't quite look like Baxter. They don't have his same coloring. Jerry chose them on purpose. I'll never replace him, and I don't want to compare Baxter to them. Jerry has found ways to keep Baxter's memory alive, making t-shirts and hats to bring awareness to the way cancer impacts all of our lives through our human and furry friends. He was kind enough to pass some along to us, but they come with a rule, wear them with pride and honor, because those were his best friend's values. Reporting in Albany County, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.